Good morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, the presenter here at BOTB, where we're here this morning to judge our latest dream car competition, which ran from the 10th to the 16th of February 2020. Just before I hand over to Rebecca, once again, huge congratulations to Gary Wood winning a brand new Mercedes C63 S AMG Plus, £20,000 in cash in the dream car competition last week. He was absolutely stunned when we surprised him last week. I'm now going to pass over to Rebecca Craigie from Onside Law who will oversee the proceedings this morning. My name's Rebecca Craigie from Onside Law and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a ball out of the hat to determine their seating position. Firstly, Mr Matt Cannon. Morning Rebecca. Good morning. Good morning, my name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and active footballer. And I have number one. Mr. Kieran Fitzgibbon. Morning, Rebecca. Good morning. Hi, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I'm a footballer and referee. And I've got number four. Mr. Leo Donnellan. Hello, Rebecca. Hello. Good morning, my name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex professional football player, having been with Chelsea, Fulham, and Leighton Orient. Number five. Mr. Peter Giorgio. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, my name is Peter Giorgio. I'm a futsal and football referee. Number two. And Mr. Trevor Weaver. Good, Good morning, morning, Rebecca. Good morning, I'm Trevor Weaver. I've been refereeing for 32 years and I also observe a mentor. And I have number three. OK, judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I will ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you to all come to a panel decision on the central screen. Peter, can you please justify your position? Yeah, mine's the, uh, the red uh, cross there, left to the rest of our, my colleagues. Um, two plays and shots. Um, I do believe the guy in, in blue has possibly just headed the ball. Um, and. And getting up there, he's, he's pushing this player here and red out of the way. And I was in two minds how close that was to, to him because of the fact of he's been pushed out of the way and maybe his eye line was not as focused. So what I did do, I, I used his, again, like I said, used his eye line there and that one across there. And that's where I think the, the ball is. is there. Thank you. Trevor, can you please justify your position? Yes, mine's the, the green cross. Um, I don't know about being particularly, as Peter said, that this play is being pushed. I mean, that's hard to judge, but he certainly strained his neck. I mean, I was going to originally go in this area, but looking at him, it's almost like he's twisting his neck and body to, to get in line with that ball. However, I think the player in blue is going to win it, and uh, just going by his eye line and the shape of his head, I'll decide the centre of the ball will be there. Thank you. Leo, can you please justify your position? Yes, Rebecca, mine is the blue cross. There's two players in shot. I believe the player in blue has just headed the ball. I think if you look at his body language, he's a lot stronger than the other player. So the force of his challenges, I believe, made this player to sort of tilt his body. Uh, if you look at his eye line, I think he's looking directly in that direction. Uh, if you look at the player in red, who's also got his eye on the ball, if you look at his head, which is tilted that way, but for me, his eye line, he's looking in that direction. So with both eye lines and his body language, that's why I went there. Thank you. Matt, can you please justify your position? Yes, mine's the orange cross here at the top. Um, I differ slightly from a couple of my colleagues. I actually don't think the player's headed the ball yet. And the reasons for that are, I think this guy, if he'd headed the ball, he would have had his eyes slightly closed. The ball would have been powered away from his, uh, you know, his athletic pose, really, of, uh, from the header. I think this player is looking at the ball. And again, if, I think if the blue player had headed the ball, he wouldn't be looking at the ball because the ball would have gone past him and gone back again. So I think this player is coming in to meet the ball. He's looking straight up, I believe slightly higher than my colleagues, at the ball. And this player's been nudged out of the way, his knee is in the back of him, so he's looking at the ball, and this player has just powered through and he's going to head the ball, and I'll put the centre of the ball where my cross is. Thank you. And Kieran, can you please justify your position? Yes, mine's the grey cross here. Um, I tend to agree more with Matt. I think the, because both players have got their eyes firmly fixed on the ball, 
the chances are that he's not yet the header hasn't yet occurred. I think the player in blue is favourite to win the ball. He's a little bit higher than the player in red. He's got his arm in the back on the left shoulder of red and possibly knee as well, uh, which probably accounts for the awkward position that the red player is in. Uh, but I think both players have got their eyes firmly fixed on the ball. I think the player in blue is looking more or less horizontally, um, and the player in red is looking in this direction. That's why I placed my great, placed my great cross there. Thank you. Judges, please now come to a panel decision on the central screen. For your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the five individual selections. OK, judges, we've got quite a good cluster there. If I, if I put some lines in... So it's not like he's gone forward and he's straining up in one way or the other. So, but that's just that's my opinion. Yeah, and I body shape with the head, is, that's where it's coming across. So. Yeah. Yeah. And Kieran, you, you felt I felt like he, I, I think like Matt that the ball, because the player in red is still focused on the ball. I think if he'd already headed the ball, the red player but would be. If not, that ball's coming in from where your cross is, it's going to. Well, well, I, I think he's how unless it's. Yeah, I think he's coming, coming in quite ferocious, isn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, I looked at the, the player's eye, though. I think his eye line is looking almost yeah. horizontal. Can we make the player's eye? Have a look. Um, you get no, there's no white under the pupil, is there? So. He's looking. There we are, all clustered together. Yeah, mm. yeah. I mean, if you put that over the white, that means it that encompass all of this. See, I felt the player in blue had headed the ball because uh, I was just looking at his body damage and it just feels to me like he's, he's overpowered the player in red. Yeah. Mm. His, his, his head and his sort of uh, his arm, it, it looks to me like he's headed it maybe one second and it's gone and he's now looking at the ball. Um, but would this player be looking at the ball? That's maybe, my argument. Maybe, I just don't maybe. see how he could have done it. Well, he'd be looking. <clears throat> so it's a, big, had, it's a yeah. quick reaction. Though. You hear that? That's a million. You know, that's yeah. less than a second, is it? If you power a header. But yeah. for it's all gone. that we're no, saying, no. whether he's headed it or whether he's we're all coming in, we're all yeah. agreed in, in, on that <laughs> fair sort of area, aren't we? Mm, yeah. It's uh, um, the only one. Peter's just a touch more to the left, yeah. isn't he? Well, mine's a touch lower than the as well. Yeah. You know, um, I think with all these cases, everybody's justified, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, yeah, if yeah. you think he's headed it, are you happy that, that with the eye lines and that it can be that low? I, I didn't. I, I thought the player in blue was looking in that line. I think the bottom line is the direction that I think he's looking at. I think um, he's uh, headed the ball and he's headed it straight back. I, I was also looking at the player in red, where uh, it looks like he's looking quite closely towards the ball, but yeah. Because it does out, make a difference. Take mine out and see what it looks like without mine for a moment. But if you believe he's headed it, it can be coming down. That's, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. I think, I think he'd be heading it. Yeah. That's why I thought he'd headed the ball. And I do think oh. that's I mean, I took a little bit of time looking at the, the line because, mm. it, because I thought his eye line was looking lower than where you'd naturally expect the ball to be, if that makes mm. sense. If you put the ball on. See, I thought if he's headed the ball, that's a natural you'd head it in a forward yeah. direction rather than you wouldn't you wouldn't try and head it upward necessarily, oh, would you? No, no, he hadn't headed the ball. You're saying he has. 
Because of that. Because I just don't yeah, think no, you I, headed the ball that close. You're right. I don't say how many people are right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. And I, I think that's, in that case, if he hasn't headed the ball, that is too low. I, know, I agree with you, Sardi, on the yeah. high line. I can see. I don't know what he's saying. No, just now. Um, but you see, if that, ball's, if that ball's coming in to the blue and blue, he could still be heading that ball, wouldn't he? By the time it gets oh, to him, it could be yeah. just slightly going yeah. in that direction. Yeah. I always think should maybe be. only certain people maybe should come out if it's really, yeah. really not justified. I think yeah, well, and in this case, you, you're, you, you believe he's headed the ball, so yeah. that's would understand. That I can understand why you think it's lower. No, I originally said he didn't. I, don't, I think he, I think they're both. Still, I don't. I didn't think he's had the ball. You don't actually. Think no, I don't think he's had the ball because that, because of the player in red. I think the player in red is looking intently at the ball, mm -hmm. and that's as you said. If it's if he's already ahead of the ball, the player in red would be looking at. And, and because he's getting jostled, he wouldn't well, be looking at the ball. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's the unusual position of the player in red, isn't it? That's yeah. That is not natural. Thank you judges. The coordinates selected are 1, 2, 0, 3 and 6, 2, 1. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.